Saturn chance it is. Have you seen the uh, Chromatic Black uh, deck yet? Yeah, I, I thought I told you I'm totally going to play that at FNM. Yeah, I wanted to. I haven't played it in Death 2 or 3 yet, because I suspect that. I suspect it gets blown the fuck up by anyone running um, Duress, but we'll see. Sure. Alright, game one, chat. We'll see how it goes. Glorious game one. And seems bad. All right, we're dead. Do we have plummet in this deck or not? Oh, that's a good question. I did screen cap it. I guess I can check. Uh, yeah. What if he just plays creatures on curve? He didn't suit up his falcons. So that's good for us. Kind of not. I kind of wanted to suit up his falcons so I can reclamation sage and nuke the enchantment and block the two one. Yeah, but you want to do that this turn, not last turn. Yeah. Still doing that exact same thing. That's still good. Yep. Alright, now we just need our white mana by six. Would I like to decline destroying his artifact? Fuck no! What kind of decline? Well, that's the difference between the Manic Vandal. The Manic Vandal is you have to. <laughs> Which is always interesting. He doesn't want to trade it, sure. Keep your one. Huh. There's our white land. How do you feel? Oh. You like Satter enchant? You like uh, Bristling Boar or Satter here? I like Boar? Yeah, I like Boar. Our modest fellowship I like being expands. able to play this later with the. Praise the sub. Alright. Hey, Striker198. Thanks for the sub. Welcome. Alright, so we're okay. We're not getting overrun by this. Oh god. He's Boros splashing green. No idea what to expect anymore. Mouse over stuff's great when the paper turners get it, right? I don't know why they're doing that anyways, but hard to do. But like I think I think having the information fed to you is so good. They need an artifact extension for that immediately. This game would get like twice as many viewers immediately. <laughs> Alright. Got one of those too. He's curving out pretty well. We're, we're just gonna die to the one too. Yeah, right. So it's annoying. I think I am um tranquil expanses into guide, threatening to block. Rex Sage plus uh, Guide into the Wolves. Because I want to have 6 mana for Satter plus Oaken form next turn. Yeah. Right? We can take it slower. Yeah, we're on a 13 turn clock. I think it's fine. You want to go slower or faster? Slower is fine. So you go Plains into uh, Thornhide then? No, play the Tranquil Expanse and play the that's the, Guide. That's the faster one. Is it really? Oh, you mean you mean faster to Satyr Enchanter. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, do the Tranquil Expanse. Okay. I was, it's a slower play out rather than playing like the Thornhide Wolves. I oh, I was, see. I thought that's what You meant it was like, yeah, declining the tempo. No, I was looking at yeah. the chance to resolve our combo. That card's from. I heard that's a good card. That card's from too. That card's fucking nuts. Oh, yeah, we can't beat that card. Can't beat it when it goes on the Falcon. Alright, so we need to get a plummet. So do we, do we just drop the plummet? We could set our enchanter plus divination this turn. That yeah. might be our best play. Because right now he just fixed all of his card draws for the rest of time and gave himself a value engine on the ground. Which is yep. pretty unexciting for us. Let's plummet. Well. Uh we let him equip it. I mean, we can kill the knights yep. as they attack. The issue is, okay, next turn he equips Falcon, swings with everything. We're taking three, six, going to six, gang blocking wolves, losing a bunch of shit, and blocking Swiftclaw. Doesn't seem great. I think you hold up Plummet and wait for him to equip it. I mean, is he going to equip it to the four or five, though? Is that, like, he just equips, he, you have to equip, equip it to the Falcon. Yeah. All right. Fucking awkward here. Yeah. That so helps. Where's the read go? Equip creature gets plus two plus zero and vigilant. Whenever equip creature attacks. Okay, so now we're in the combat steps. Now I just plummet yep. it before he gets this fucking dude. Oh, he has, he has um, Titanic Growth too. It's gonna make blocking super painful next turn. That could be the Green Seeker, I suppose. 
Okay. I don't have to full control their chat. You get you get past priority there. Gets his land, gets to equip. All right, we're on six mana right now. Let's like get to seven. We still haven't played our fucking card. Okay, that's seven. Kind of like these two. This gang block gets a lot less fun. You don't want to Seder. Uh, I suppose the boar just trades with the wolves. Boar trades with wolves. Yeah, we can't you can put the open, put the oaken form on it. You can oaken form the rex sage too. Trades with wolves. I was looking to try to get aggressive, but oh, I see. But we can, if you want to play with the Thornhide wolves and the. Do you think we have the life total to be aggressive? No, but I think it gets worse the more we wait because he keeps making two twos. But well, the two twos get we I can don't. we can block the two twos. If we have enough blockers to block the rest of his shit, we can eat the two twos. The issue is what do we block wolves with? We need to decide yeah. that now. What do we block wolves with? Rex Sage plus uh, Guide. Guide, yeah. Okay, so we're buffing uh, Boar. I think so. And swinging. Yeah. Because that that Green Seeker is also going to outvalue us. Yeah. He may just trade Wolves with this. It's a good trade for him. He's tapped out. It's not a bad time for us to be making that decision. We're out of auras too, so we drew our second Satter, but not our second aura. Yeah, but we have what four or five more, or four more ores to drop. So we managed to one for one ourselves there, basically, trading two cards for one of his, but we drew a card off it. Yeah, it's not that exciting. No, but it's his biggest. It's his biggest threat. Is it? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Apparently, it's not. I mean, he's just gonna draw to that. Oh, dwindle. Oh. Hey, the look value. how many cards you get to draw. That's still gonna be a two eight. We'll never be able to kill it. Oh, if he blocks it, he creature dies. So we're not no, he's gonna attack. It's two eight. Yeah. We can concede. That helps the two two. I guess swing with guide. Now, guide is two or less. Do we swing here at all? I I don't think so. I think the guy. I think we need to keep the guide up so that we can uh, win with the vigilant bail. Oh, we can't fucking eat point. the two-two night token this turn either. God, that's awkward. Yes, we have luminous bonds in this deck. Be nice if this is a white green deck no, instead of a green we deck. We don't have bonds. I know, so it'd be nice. Oh yes. Uh oh, he's playing oh, all the no. colors. So he's actually he's actually white green aura splashing red. We don't know what he's splashing red for. He just open white red. Probably electrify. He's essentially tapped out. We could just gang block that with everything. Yeah. That. Do you want to put uh the the Rex Age on the Knight token? No. I don't. I want to block that with the Gorger. We could block it. Okay. I guess. I guess I was looking at three, five. Yep. It's probably not that because he has two power. Ah, that works fine, right? Like that. Yeah. He's yeah. probably gonna kill the Seder. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Seems like a good one. Yeah. I wish I'd killed that uh, 2 2 now. For Rex Age. Alright. Gets it again. It's too bad. See, again, a Titanic Growth would be amazing for us. Maybe we'll draw an Oaken form.
Well. Oh, he was, he's splashing red for Lathless, of course. We used our plummet. Think he's got other dragons he's splashing? Oh, boy. His dragon gets pumped, too, right? He kills us next turn. He's got a sword plus double pump is 10. Yep. <laughs> what? What? Why are we losing to this guy's deck? He's splashing Lathless for double red with no mana fixing. He's just running mountains. You gotta be fucking kidding me right now. You want to attack anything else? No. Think he can add? Is it other dragons? It's probably this dragon, right? I, th I think it pumps itself. I'd have to read it, but... Okay. Maybe he doesn't know. I'm not mousing over it. We'll keep it in suspense. That's the sword equip. I don't go to one chat. You can pump it twice. It costs red, red one other to pump. If it if it can pump itself, I die. All right now, I'll look. Dragons you control. Yeah. It's definitely a dragon. All dragons. Let's quick change have reach, uh, right? creature type. No. no. Fuck that. Fuck that as a loss. Well, that was a good time. Rex Sage the gloves to get another bomb fucking, uh, another bomb, uh, artifact come down. Plummet the flyer. Who's causing us problems through your turn into a fucking two mana splash dragons with no dual lands. Grumpy yeah, about we, that. Everything that we killed, he had a bigger version of whatever we, that was the problem. We even killed the Thornhide Wolves and he had a fucking six, six. All right, so let's Student look at that for a second. Mob. What would our other options... Yeah, that was pretty painful too, right? Uh, let's look at our options here. So I'll pull this up here for chat. Let's run the... Uh, there's paint. Okay, so two options then. We're running um, either... This is the deck where we have currently. We got Satter value. We cast two auras, drew three cards off them. The satyrs themselves were fairly underwhelming. Didn't have a lot of aggression going on, in part because we played satyrs. What would have been different if we were running this deck? Might have been able to S scatter or uh, cancel. There's a cancel in here yeah. too. Oh, cancel's not in this deck right now. Yes, it is. It's just not. Uh, I think it's at the bottom, right? Yeah, it's a little bit further down. I guess yeah. I can do that. Yeah, we had S scatter, cancel. Uh, is there anything else? No. That's two more options nope. to deal with it. Is that better? Was it a failing of uh, what we drew? Or a failing of our options in the deck? Two more options. I mean, that doubles our options from two to four. It does. And we draw as many cards, I think, with the Divinations as we did with the Seder Enchanter. No, we... Yeah, the other deck has Divinations and Seder Enchanter. So we actually drew five cards. And we presented threats when oh, we yeah. got rid of his um, his four five by trading him two cards for it. Yeah, that was exciting. I love trading down in value. We didn't have the declared dominance to be able to attack into his Lathos and make him block. Right. If we top deck that was an out. Yep. But we didn't top deck that. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Do you like know. having the departed deck hand? What's that? I like, I like the fact that this deck plays a Departed deck hand. I think that card's really good. I think that card's insanely good. Don't know. I don't know if that was an argument against running the auras still. Like, I don't think it changes anything one way or the other. No. So, but it was a kind of bad beat in terms of my emotional state.
unlike most beats where I'm rock solid. So, uh, yeah, I guess, do you want to do this one again? Or you want to go back to our, our more solid one? I think we should try the solid one quick. Okay. Lose with that, and then we can uh, do something else. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Good suggestions. All right, the more solid version runs. None of these. Uh, we're, not, we're not playing the deckhand in the aura version because the auras need to target the creature, and we'd have to sacrifice it. So it's just not a good. It's not as good a creature as some other things with the aura dev, with the aura version. Yeah, exactly. Through the cow, essence scatter comes in. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, and the double omen speakers. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, nine in this one. Three on the guide. Elvis Rejuvenator comes in. Uh, two, three, four. We need the Rex Sage. We have guides in. Double divinations in. Oops. Dwindles in. Cancels in. We're not running Oaken Forms. We might have trouble getting through on the ground without Oaken Forms. There's an argument for that. Um, we're still not running the other guy either. Rocks Oracle didn't make the cut on this one. Thornhide Wolves, Vigilant Bailiff, Declare Dominance, Knightly Valor's out. Uh, we're missing lands. We want to run uh, 710, I think is a little optimistic. I think it needs to be 8 9. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Is this 40? This is 40. I don't know. I mean, we'll run it. I mean, the problem is if we take two losses to figure out what we think of the deck doesn't really give you a lot of wiggle room for uh you know winning your your 10 it doesn't or winning your seven okay we have to change the deck name i think when we do this i agree what do we call it uh how do we win <laughs> uh oops uh, dwindling win dwindling chances I like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. I wouldn't say my deck was bad. Opponent just hit a really nice curve and draw. I don't think my opponent... I mean, my opponent curved out. Don't get me wrong. I just think, I think it was more like our opponent hit a bunch of bombs. Lathless. And I can't believe he's splashing double red for Lathless. Like, what was the rest of... I mean, it must have been a pack three open, right? And he's just like, I want to play it. Yeah. I mean, it does win games, but... Did win the game. Seems like a pretty solid opener for us. Yeah. I think there's a pretty strong argument for not running out open Omen Speaker here. It depends what he plays on turn one, but I think the the part... Uh, mm, I, like the, I like putting the deck in. Really? I think I'm on Omen Speaker now. I just drew a land. My issue was more along the lines of I didn't have enough information to decide about lands versus the rest of it. Could wait one more turn. But probably next turn I want to run out Basilisk, right? Yeah, but we can. The thing is, we can start putting down pressure if we play the deck hand. And also, I like holding things that either draw you cards. How do cards we put down pressure? Like, it just blocks. We can't. Is it a spirit? Oh right, I forgot. I forgot that it had the passive that it can't be blocked. Oh my god, I totally yeah. forgot about that. I just, I was just thinking about. I like it for its second part, which is other creatures. But I totally oh. forgot. Yeah, yeah. No, you're absolutely right. I just totally blanked on that. It's been a while. I I played this card the other day too, and I don't think I remember the entire time that it was unblockable. <laughs> I just like it for the second part. How about Omen Speaker now to deal with Sentinel? Correct. Yeah, I like holding uh, draw spells or like top scry cards um, when I'm starting to run out of resources so yeah. then I can refill. I like to play out the things in my hand. Probably not Plummet? Green, no, if, green we don't know. Green, yeah, I think that card's just not good enough. Yeah. I'm not hugely excited about drawing a cancel either, but I think that's fine. I'm not hugely excited about missing all the lands there. Black has flyers. We're gonna see like uh, oh, what's it called? Sky Marcher. Yeah. Blood Blood Letter. Whatever. Yeah. Blood Letter. <laughs> it's like a guarantee is Blood Letter. How about he just passes to us so I could keep cancel up for the rest of the game and kill him with this? Eh, that's kind of what he did. Uh, I'm still on. Just hit him with the part of deck hand. Yep. And pass. Related, you might target the deck in. Is it target too? Yeah. So I can't even counter this spell to protect it. No. Tar it targets before it resolves. Yes. You have to announce your target as you're casting the spell. Go. Okay. 
So can canceling, you'll cancel the spell effect, but the target effect trigger will still happen. You countering Titanic Growth right now? I. The really? Yeah. What else am I doing? I suppose we do have a removal spell for something big. That gets countered. Sure. Unless you want to just trade boar for it, basilisk for it. No. I mean, I guess. So we're basically out of resources over here, and we're two lands away from Gaspark Twins. I don't want to top deck two lands. I think this is not a great draw to have right now. No, but Dwindle will let us get a little bit further, I think. He puts me into the test every turn. Every yep. turn. Alright. Unfortunately, our clock just got doubled. Opponent multi spelling over there. I think I'm just swinging with the part of deck hand again. Yep. Could get in for four, uh, but I think I'm trading yeah. Basilisk for Spider if he offers. I think so too. Could just dwindle the spider now, preemptively. Yeah, I don't know. We I don't do have a think so. Yeah, we have a flyer to deal with flyers, but I don't want to just be trading off. The yeah, he has like a bone dragon. He's a green. He's green black too. I'm expecting like you know, and he's one mana off uh, worm, with the accelerated druid. He doesn't have to draw the land either. It's just one more land. He hits colossal dreadmaw. So. Yeah, I'm fine blocking the spider with the death toucher. Yeah, me too. This is the test he's gonna put us to, I guess. I do love me a giant spider. Yeah. Am I getting coached? Yes, I'm getting coached. Thank you for the coaching, Joe. Oh, you're welcome. Hmm, that's a problem. Him double spelling every turn for the last four turns is the fucking problem. I guess. I guess yeah, that I mean, does accelerate our scholar or the gas bark, and it's another blocker. So, yeah, I like the fact that it gets us to the scholar. I think that'll be really good. You want to dwindle basilisk? Right now? Yeah. What do we? How do we ever kill it? We trade deck hand is the best we can do. I don't. I don't want to use that. I don't think I want to use that right now. Just let me... Imagine next turn. Next turn is scholar. Worst case scenario. Best. I mean. If we don't draw a land, we're scholaring, and we're never putting we're putting one land and never lands again, right? So our next two turns are this. That means the basilisk is worth this the dwindle right now is worth at least four, if not six life. If he ever removes deckhand too, like I don't really want to trade deckhand for basilisk. I want to be able to pay the next turn, I want to make my gas bark twins unblockable and kill him. Yeah, we can do that. Do you have a different thought process on dwindle? Yeah, I just I'm afraid of like a dreadmaw, which Gaspark Twins just blanks the dreadmaw. Yeah, it's it is the most mana efficient. I just hate using a very valuable removal spell on something that's a, an annoyance, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if you I guess if you look at it as an annoyance, then yes. I guess. And I agree, we don't have a lot of ways to deal with creatures on the board in this deck. I guess my thought is that I'm never going to have the best case, worst case scenario I cast Scholar next turn, right? There's pretty much no no card I can draw that will change that except the land where I'm casting Twins and then I'm casting Scholar. And I might even yeah. do it the other option, the other order still. So I guess don't see a word, world in which I get to cast that for three turns. Even if he plays a Dreadmaw, I'm still going to slam Scholar into Gaspark. I agree, but my reasoning with the um, Basilisk is because we cast the Twins. The turn we want to attack with the Twins, we'll have 7 mana, so we can dwindle something else if we really wanted to and still use the deck. Oh, I see. Uh, maybe we'll have 7. We might have 8 by then. I guess if we're going to Scholar, yeah. we won't. But, I mean, that's that's the thought, is that by the time we attack with something, we may have a better target to dwindle, and we still have the option of the Basilisk. It's yeah, I guess I'm not That's so all. excited by his board that, like, I don't see Deckhand living is part of the issue, too. And if Deckhand's sure. not living, I want the Basilisk taken care of as man as possible so I can start attacking with the Twins. 
Yeah, because we are gonna have to race those neonates, I suppose. Yeah, and I, I keep expecting him to develop more stuff. I just, I don't, I just didn't want to give up another four life here. Yeah. I mean, honestly, with this on the board and that on the board, I could just bin both these lands, hold up Essence Scatter, and be okay. Yeah. We will draw another one. Is yes, he dead next will. turn, too? Yeah, he's dead next turn if he doesn't answer. Well, he's going to gain... He's gonna, oh, he could right. gain and he can, he can block with Wall of Vines as Reach. Yeah. I still like these bottom, though. I agree. Because we so, draw Essence Scatter. Again, Again, we're in the spot of we draw a spell, we're happy, we draw land, we're fine. Yes. We have so much life to work with, but we don't, chat. We don't have so much life to work with. I mean, we're at seven, we're at 19. It's not, it's not super bad, but imagine the scenario we're envisioning, right? Where Worm comes down. I mean, I guess maybe if Worm, if Colossal Worm Demo comes down, we can just dwindle that. I don't, I don't know, though. Like, I want to kill him as fast as I can to give him the least number of draw steps to inter inter intercept here. Not sure. Yeah, we have 17 life, but we'd be at four less right now if we hadn't dwindled the Basilisk. Maybe six less, right? So are we going to block it this turn? Are we going to stop swinging with the deckhand? Annoying part is if he resolves his thing now. Feel pretty good about doing that basilisk right about now. To be fair, it's gonna kill all of our creatures anyway. No, it's not. I guess it's not gonna kill the omen speaker, but it's gonna kill Scholar. Yeah. Don't we have one of those cards? This card? Oh, no, the the dominance. Oh yeah, we draw that occasionally. Not often. That's unfortunate. That felt like a pretty desperate play for my opponent, honestly. Yeah. I mean, he probably doesn't. He pro it was probably his only way to kill the scholar. That was from what he was uh, where he was sitting. Yeah. Would have been nice to hold up essence scatter here. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I didn't expect that hand to live. But that's do you think that was a top deck spores? I don't know. I don't he might be considering up to this point just holding it. Yeah. He doesn't have five power on the board, so I'm gonna swing with the Vigilant Bailiff. Yes. Now we need to start decluttering some of that. Yeah. He's got he's got a lot of chump chump blockers available. But... So again, so far up till now we have not had the mana to play dwindle. Yet. So that was what? We either were we either not developing Gaspark twins to dwindle. I guess dwindle with essence scatter is okay, but I'd rather have the twins on the board. Yeah. We'd be at least six life lower now from the Basilisk. We'd be at eight. I don't know. Yeah, it would be I a mean, much tighter race against the neonates. I wish I could fucking counter that. Yeah, declare dominance right now would be pretty nice. Can't play it this turn, but still be nice. It's a good card to top deck when you're low on resources. Do we want to attack with the Bailoth and yes. trade off with? Well, I'm I'm looking first to see what's down there. I think that's good enough because Bailoth yeah. quite a lot of damage too. I mean, what do we trade it for right now? It just trades for Basilisk. We're okay with that. I think so because if we, especially with the Talons, we can give the Twins uh, Trample next turn. Twins already have Trample. Oh, they do. Mm. Do we? Uh, maybe we don't attack with the Bailoth thing. Yeah, that's Bailoff what I'm looking trample. at too. So yeah, let's not well. do that. Do we get to keep up essence. What player? is trample worth, though? It's, it's it'll, on the Bayloth, it's going to be four damage. extra damage. 
Yeah, four, yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess if he's just single blocks. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right. It forces him to put other things in the way. Well, he gains two life. We're some... taking another two. Which kind of sucks, but I think we wait anyways. Yeah, I think so. I'm not super excited by that. It means we can't swim with twins, though, next turn. No, I don't think so. I think we did this wrong. I think that should have just been trade Baylith. Don't get greedy about it. We're on a clock, not a... Not a value game here. With the two vampires already resolved, giving him four life a turn and a million chump blockers. I think that was wrong. It's another fucking declared dominance. Are you kidding me right now? All right, we lost. We attacked last turn too. Yeah. Feels so bad to be. Feels bad to be bad. I don't know that that's. I mean, that top deck rabbit bite is frustrating at best. Is he ever gonna have hit us? He hasn't hit us yet, right? Every attack has been through neonates. Um, he did attack us one turn with a sentinel and something else that I don't think we. Or we. Oh uh, no, it was a giant spider. God, this feels so fucking bad. All right, what are we looking for? All of our big threats are gone now with twins, scholar, and Bailith. Uh, boar is still okay. Clear dominance to get rid of these neonates, I guess. Yeah. But even that's only going to get rid of one of them, I guess. Yeah. Have to draw a creature, then get the clear dominance. Yeah. Rejuvenator. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's Goreclaw. Goreclaw. Yeah, that might do it. Do we just draw a land? Let's try to get rid of land. Guide wins the game. Guide was our next card. Guide goes to the bottom. Typical fucking Rejuvenator in play, in my opinion. Yep. I don't think resolving Talons does anything here. No. And anytime we want to attack with it, we have the ability to cast whatever we draw and play Talons and keep the best. Do we, need, do we need to draw a Declare Dominance and a creature before we die and we're like a couple turns out? Yeah, he also gets to just tap his neonates and not block the Dominance feature oh, with him. Oh, that's fair, yeah. That'd be fucking bad. It does get rid of his other creatures, which is important, but... Still got four lands, still gets to activate his double things. It's a good one, I guess. Can attack. Yeah. And he's just going to block with the wall of vines for a turn, then the cowl, then the... Yeah, sentinel. we're taking... We're at two turns right now, I think, right? Do yeah. I develop it this, this turn on the Basilisk? The Talons? Yeah. Yeah. We can still get it back whenever, so. Top deck rapid bite was fucking brutal. I mean, yep. we, I mean, we, it's our own bloody fault. We didn't attack with the stupid uh, Bailiff. We were waiting for the yeah. extra value off that. It's a bad play. It's a bad play, and I mean, it's a bad play easily when top decks, right? In retrospect, is a terrible play, but like even in the moment, I'm like, man. And I said something right afterwards, and then he top decks that. Should I should have just acted on that? It's too greedy. Like we're we're in a tempo game versus a neonates, right? It's the same reason why we dwindled when we dwindled. I mean, he's at so much life, he can just ignore this, too. Yeah. So we're at one turn to figure it out and answer to one of the neonates. Don't think that one's going to happen. Yeah. Dominus doesn't work, chat, for the, what we've already discussed. He can just... uh. With Death Touch, do we have to assign one damage to each or all damage to... One dam damage to each. Okay. With Death Touch Trample. 
Even even without trample, it's still just one damage to each. It's just that trample allows the extra damage to go to the player. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. So that's plus three, plus three. We catch the Wall of Vines, the Druid, and the Sentinel. He takes three. We get in for another four. He takes seven. It's not good enough. Currently at two. Oh, there's a Palaka worm. Uh, that's frustrating. Uh, Alright. I mean, we could have right then drawn uh, top deck to color dominance in one. Because we would have got rid of one of the neonates and all the rest of his creatures. Yeah. Maybe one attack in case we have something. So we're at one this turn. We need him to tap out. We need to do top deck declare dominance. We need him to tap out. And we need to not top deck a creature that makes our guys unblockable. And we just die of the worm. I'm excited by that 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 game of magic. Yeah. We lost to a guy who plays turn one. Wall of vines. Yep. Wall of vines. <laughs> sure. Alright, what did you like better? <laughs>